Okay, let's look at two important properties of absolute uh, value. Now, first property, property number three, we've already seen two properties. Now, the, this is property number three and four. Now, what I claim, I claim that if C is any positive number, if C is any positive number, then absolute value of A is less than or equal to C is equivalent to saying that A lies between minus C and C. What we are trying to say is, let's, let me just construct a real line. Okay, so say this is my real line. Say this is my real line. So you have infinity out here. You have minus infinity out here somewhere. This is C. This is zero. So what we're trying to say is that if absolute value of A is less than or equal to some some positive c then that actually means that a lies between this this constant c and minus c it's somewhere in between c and minus c and let me just let let me just prove this for you now just here on the line you can see okay now absolute value of a less than or equal to c that's what we are given now what does that mean that means that the distance okay distance distance between a and 0 a and 0 the distance between a and 0 is less than or equal to c okay okay the distance between a and 0 is less than or equal to c which is equivalent to saying that A would lie in which interval? C and minus C. Why would that happen? Because what is happening, the distance between 0 and A is less than C from this side also and from this side also. Okay, So, that is same as saying. Now, A is in this interval minus c and c that is same as saying a lies between minus c and c right and that's what we had to prove that's what was our claim our claim was that this kind of a situation would mean that a lies between minus c and c okay and in the next case in the next case what we are trying to prove in the fourth case we are trying to say that minus of absolute value of a is less than or equal to is less than or equal to a and a is less than or equal to the positive absolute value so you get it so basically what we are trying to claim is that in the fourth we claim that minus is less than or equal to a is less than or equal to so basically a lies between the negative and positive absolute values okay now in this case in this case if a is 0 if a is 0 there's nothing to prove it's pretty obvious right so if a is 0 it's pretty obvious if a is greater than 0 then what will the inequality be the inequality will be a lies between minus a and a okay above inequality above inequality becomes this right which is true which is true why which is true because of a simple reason that a is greater than 0 a is greater than 0 hence this will be true we have just seen in the previous in the previous property we've just seen in the previous property that okay now what will happen if a is less than 0 if a is less than 0 what will happen if a is less than 0 the inequality becomes inequality becomes becomes a is less than or equal to 
a is less than or equal to minus a now which is true why will this be why will this inequality be true this will be true because true because of what we are assuming we are assuming a to be less than zero and hence this inequality will also hold this inequality which says a would lie between a and minus a a is a negative number so what we are trying to say is that a is a negative number and it will lie between minus of a minus of a will become positive right what we are trying to say is that since a is because a is negative minus a will be positive and hence the inequality will still hold okay